Okay, here we are again with the very fun and dynamic Kevin Burke from ACI North America. So happy to see you in person. Kristen, I am so happy to see you. My car lady, my car lady. We have, <laughs> we always have so much fun together when we get together. And because of the pandemic, we haven't seen each other in a while. But now, nah. she Tampa. surprised me this morning. She came up. She said, Let, "Let's go sit down and talk." And here we are. Here we right? are. Absolutely. I want to hear what's been going on at the show. I know everybody's so excited to see each other. There's so much, so much networking and communication. That's what this is all about. Absolutely. Uh, we unfortunately didn't have one last year, so I, I call this a lot of pent-up demand. And people wanted to get out of their their homes, get on the road, uh, do what they do best. I mean, it, it, they're, they're here, our, our members are here to look at what our exhibitors are here to sell. And uh, when we budgeted for this, we were hopeful of maybe getting a thousand people. We were trying to budget for half. When we were in Tampa, I think we had about 2,300 or so. That was I remember. A, one of our biggest meetings. And then the pandemic struck. The fact that we have 1,500 people here, plus a room full of exhibitors, and plus a bunch of sponsors, and in all three categories, we've exceeded budget expectations by a considerable amount. Uh, gives me hope that, A, the industry is on its way back, and that our exhibitors, the, 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 the core of what supports this, we're happy to be here. And they got to see airport people. And I strictly instructed them to get on the floor and go visit their vendors and say thank you or do business with them, either one. Yeah. But I think it's been amazingly successful. Here we are, last day of the convention. It shuts down really at 3.30. And I'm looking around the room here, and there's a whole bunch of people talking. And not just uh, exhibitors talking to exhibitors. We're talking about people talking about business. That's what we're here for. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of ideas to be exchanged. A lot has changed in the last few years, and people are looking at the future differently right. and thinking about what they've learned over the last two years and how that's going to affect master planning for the next yep. 10, 20 years. A uh, gentleman at breakfast this morning with, with the Associates Board had mentioned that we can't be looking at getting back to 2019. Okay? What we have to be looking at is what are we going to do differently uh, so we have a playbook to know what we... What we, how do we do? How do we handle the next pandemic? But more importantly, we don't have to go back to 2019. This gives us an opportunity to change the paradigm of things and do things differently uh, with our airports, with our concessionaires, with our exhibitors to do things that might we not have thought of um, years ago. So I always like to think positively. The only way to get through the day. And by doing so, you look at it and say, how do you make lemonades out of lemon? And we had lots of sour lemon over the last 19 months. But I think when you look at the way our industry is, we're a vital industry. Uh, just yesterday, we opened up our borders internationally. So we're going to see a big jump in international flights. We've been very pleased with our domestic flights. Now, we're not back to 2019, but that has been kind of our benchmark. I think what we have to do is look at what does the new airport experience look like post-pandemic and take what we've learned in it and maybe do things differently. So I see this as a great opportunity to grow the industry over time and to get great ideas from people who can have a wealth of information about how they experience this pandemic and what they've learned from it. Because I do know the travel experience will be different, but it will be better. I mean, we heard this morning from Tom Costello, and Tom's a good buddy. I mean, and, you know, he looks at it this way. You know, he, he did a piece where he walked through the airport by simply putting his, li uh, his license in a machine. That was all they needed. All right? Didn't touch anything. He, ba he uh, tagged his own bag. All that technology is here. And this is maybe uh, the jumping off point for the next era of, of uh, airport management, um, airport technology is, well, we learned a lot from this, so let's do it differently. What do you think airports need to think about? My board? Airports in oh, general. Oh, airports in general <laughs> have to be looking to the future. They have to look about how they uh, safely move passengers from when they come into the airport to the time they step on the plane. Uh, passengers uniquely love the idea of they want a clean airport, they want clean restaurants, they want space. Uh, we have to modernize our airports. Our airports are still 40 years old. They're still pre-9-11, most of them, and they're still now uh, pre-pandemic. So we've learned a lot about what do you do in a situation where you have a lot of passengers and you want to keep them away from each other. Uh, we need to expand our airports. We have to, like I said in my presentation yesterday to the membership, we have to modernize our airports the same way the airlines are modernizing their fleets and match them one to one because the travel experience has to be good uh, 
uh, when you walk through the airport as well as when you get on the plane. Our responsibility is to make sure that they're happy by the time they get on the plane. What happens up there, that's up to the airlines. And I think a lot of those changes as a result of this conference will come with people reconnecting, as you said yesterday, right. reconnecting, talking about what's possible. Right. I, I think it's, the pandemic has given people 19 months to be at home to think clearly without having to commute somewhere. They maybe have some ideas that they might have been thinking about, and maybe we can do this now. And as optimistic as I am, not every uh, idea is going to work, but the fact is there's a lot of ideas out there that will work. And that's the way we have to look at it. So I do think as we move forward in the next couple of years, we're going to see a better travel experience, a safer travel experience, um, and a happier customer as a result, happier passenger going through our airports. And that takes coordination uh, with our airline partners. It takes coordination with our government partners, uh, with TSA and Customs. And to make certain that when people go to an airport, they're not, they're not fearful of being there, that they're happy to be there and they're happy to be traveling. And they're excited. They're excited. Yeah. Thanks for bringing us all back together, Kevin. Absolutely. So Pleasure. Great to see you. Always great to see you, Kristen. Always great. Thank see you, you soon. Sure. Very soon. Okay.